Yeah, you just you just kind of have to walk. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly, I like the aesthetics of an alley yeah, better than a green room. Yeah, room. yeah, personally. History <laughs> the band. I'm Alex. Uh, I play drums. My name is Chase. I play bass. I'm Parker. I play guitar. Dog leg. We <laughs> we're a loud and fast band that have been playing music for like five years now or six, or yeah, I think. It's year six uh, right now. And yeah, <laughs> that's all I can think of. Yeah. That's if no one else was doing that. Yeah, that's basically what happened. Yeah. <laughs> Last year was a big year for you, despite it being 2020s. Yeah, yeah. So, could you guys? Awful year. Yeah. Could you guys, yeah. <laughs> could you guys talk about kind of like how, like, have you got to process that growth at all yet, or what's that been like? Uh. I, a lot of people have just been telling me like oh you guys are so popular now and I was just sitting at home looking at my computer screen every day just being like yeah we're really popular just like reading words you know like it, it was, S- seeing the follower list go not, up not real did not seem real at all so like being able to be able to actually be play shows yeah be able to actually play shows is it's kind of different. like you know Let's see how everybody's at, like with the with the album. Even though it's been like a year and a half, it's much more I mean? fulfilling seeing people in person actually react to it rather than seeing somebody like tweet about it. Yeah. But uh, aggression in your music, or aggression in music in general, like what factor do you think that plays like into what you're doing, both in a live uh, and recorded like aspects? Uh, aggression. Yeah. I like emotional music. I like music that kind of like tugs at you or pulls at you in an emotional way, whether it's like you're really angry or you're really sad or it's really like moving. And this album was a lot of processing angry and like emotional thoughts and stuff so i guess that's what came out you know and i didn't like purposely mean to be like yo i'm gonna be angry on every song i'm just like you know that's i'm just gonna let it flow naturally that's just how it's gonna sound and even when we play live like i sound different than i do on a record because i'm like i'm gonna sing it a different way just the way i know how you know not really not really trying to put too much forethought into it because i just don't want to like have too hard of a plan because I think music is best when it's like just coming naturally from whoever's playing it. That actually brings me into like three different things. I, want to touch on. I guess I'll, I'll start. <laughs> I'll start with uh, this was your debut on a on a label as well, right? Yeah. So how did the uh, recording process for this differ from like the the two EPs you put out? Uh, in the it past? didn't. It, it um, was the no. same. <laughs> it was this, it was the same with more microphones basically and more time. We just spent a lot more time processing the songs and making sure everything sounded as good as we c- it could and then when the label got involved the mixing process was really long because they wanted it to sound good to their standards what as well email tag and yeah. that's not fun very i hate long, that <laughs> very long time of trying to get the levels all right so are, are we still allowed to publish this or are you going to get in trouble with no, your no, no we we also have a different process because it was recorded in Alex's basement yeah. of his parents' house. Yeah. And then we had it mixed by someone because, like, we recorded it all in that basement, had it mixed by our friend Tyler Floyd, and then that got sent to Triple Crown. And then with that, they liked it. They picked us up, and they're like, okay, let's, let's keep look, yeah, let's keep looking at it. Let's take another stab at mixing it. So then we had everything recorded, but now we're playing email tag with someone mixing it way out like states away and we're just emailing 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 this is what we want this is what we like can you change this can you do that yeah months but it took days to get a single change made yeah (laughs) but you know like it would have been easier if we were in the studio but we weren't and we didn't have the time and or money from it like we literally were operating on a shoestring budget (laughs) because we're like this is our only chance to do anything like this we're pouring everything we have into it so and we were like touring while it was being mixed yep. too so, yep. like, so we we're really just trying to make it as good as we could and take as much time as we could to make it. we are we are definitely a band that uh thrives on the live show um so having that completely taken away from us 
really, really felt like everything was lost because we were like, this is how we make new fans by playing live because that's how people get to know us. So seeing new fans being made by just the music alone is very, very different. Very, very like unexpected, just like weird, surreal, how, however you want to put it. It's just not our norm, but it has to be our norm now. And now that we're playing shows again, we're kind of getting back to normal where we're like, all right, we're getting fans that have never heard us except for just on the record to come and see the show for the first time and then we can hook them that way as well because that's going to be the first time they're seeing us well on that note i wanted to ask you like the most recent record melee is is very like live in sound what was the recording process for that like do you like try to like specifically get that sound in the record or is that just kind of a coincidental thing or what we 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 wanted it to sound like we were there basically i i also really like records where it sounds like they're performing as is but we also didn't want to make it too live sounding to where it sounds exactly like we play it live because that's another thing that we really like is that we play our songs a little bit differently live and have a reason for people to come to shows and see us rather than coming to see a band sound exactly like they did on a record because it's like what's the point of that you know it's much more fun seeing a band do the song their way and do it in a more interesting or different way than originally intended. Thank you so much for even asking us to do this. Yeah, really yeah absolutely, it. man. This is this is insane for like this was a record that I was on a personal really big into well, like throughout you. the last year. Yes, this I, is. See, that's the thing is I, I'm really glad that 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 that's the case because yeah. like again we don't know that we just know people's words on twitter or in dms or stuff like that like we we love hearing people come up to us and tell us like hey this is what this means to me because yeah. that's real you know not not just seeing words from whether it's like a big critic or just somebody that's just has a twitter account like i i really want to actually like see and meet people in person and talk to them about music and just whatever Um, you guys added to the Glass Beach uh, remix album yeah, just recently. Yes. Yeah. So I wanted to nice. I wanted to ask um, what it's like, sort of uh, interpreting someone like another band's music like that, that is kind of your contemporary, and also what it's like being back here tonight with Retirement Party. Obviously, you know, yeah. someone who's and, and what it's like being that, like back on tour in that sort of community. Yeah, uh, I want Parker to answer. Yeah, this. I was just gonna say, <laughs> okay. Okay. all right, right on. Yeah, so say, please, for the Glass Beach one specifically, I mean, that was actually the second time we had done something like that. Uh, a couple months prior, we did the same thing with our good buddies in Worst Party Ever, where uh, we did two of their songs, they did two of our songs. Um, and that was fantastic, you know. Um, so, I mean, we, we've only done it with two bands who we've personally toured with, spent a lot of time with, you know. Um, so it was a lot easier to sort of do that interpretation of learning it because, I mean, not only did we have to hear it every night for weeks, uh, yeah. but also it felt like we sort of, like, knew it on another level uh, because of it and so on, you know. Yeah. yeah it was great. So, um, and then the last thing I have to ask, and then we can get back in there. Uh, anything coming down the line for you guys? Anything you want to uh, talk about right now? I don't want to blow anything up. Hopefully, but. hopefully more tours. Uh, that's the main thing we want to do is just get back on the road and yeah. just play as much as possible right now because that'll make us feel ready to start writing and moving on from the record because yeah. we haven't been able to tour the record yet. Yeah. We haven't been able to move on at all, so once we're able to do that, I think it's going to... Things are going to start moving moment. even more, you know, so be on the lookout. All right, solid. Well, thank Yo. you guys so much. Thank, thank you. Yeah.